Oh man, it's so dark in here. Maybe if I just open up my, oh my Lord. Look at all that light. Look at all that. Hey, it's pronounced bag. <laughs> hey, it's pronounced bag and I'm Adam. In this video today, I'm replacing the trunk light bulb that is the OEM halogen in my 2017 Mark 7 Golf R with the D-Auto LED full housing replacement. Uh, this sucker is pretty high quality. This is the OEM one I'm holding. The new one is already in here, but the D-Auto LED one is super high quality. If somebody would have handed it to me, I would have guessed that it was an OEM product. Um, I'm holding here just a little trim tool that uh, I think will be really helpful to some folks. Uh, having the 90 degree bend was helpful. You'll see where it was a little bit of a tight place. And then I'll show you just a little bit of detail of what I did to measure the improvement. Um, I have a light meter and you know, one thing I was curious is, you know, is the improvement that I'm seeing in everybody else's videos and photos based on just the color output and their cameras. And so I wanted to measure a real world difference in foot candles. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about that right now. This is the setup that I'm going to try out to test out this LED light trunk from Diado LED. Um, I have an X-Tech light meter, uh, the LT300. I'm going to measure in foot candles. And I have three tape markings set up here where I'm going to do my best to measure these evenly where I set up uh, directly, almost directly under the light here. Uh, and then in the middle, I will set up uh, directly under the light here and get a reading. Uh, and then what I will also do is set it directly on its side because this light meter, uh, I believe only has a 30 degree cone where it will read light. So uh, I'll do it all the way under the light, in the middle of the hatch space, and then all the way here on the end where I'll do the same thing where I set it up uh, straight up and then also lay it on its side. So I'm gonna do that right now for the OEM light that's in there, non-LED, and then I will compare it uh, once I get the D-Auto LED installed. And I expect there'll be quite a significant difference. And before I get too far, I want to point out that I waited until nighttime to really test this and I'm in my garage so there shouldn't be any other light uh, you know being put onto this light meter so it is just strictly going to be oh but we've got those the there's <clears throat> there's overhead lights that are above the rear seats but they are very directional and they're pretty dim so um, take note that I am not blocking this section off. There may be light coming from that area, but I highly doubt that they'll have much impact. All right, so you can clearly see it's exaggerated on the video uh, how much light there is only on the right-hand side of the trunk. Um, but it is, you know, obviously the light is over there. Right now, the reading that I'm getting on uh, the number of foot candles with the meter on the far right side is four foot candles. And now, facing up directly in the middle, I'm getting one foot candle. And if I turn this directly on its side, I am still getting one foot candle. Now all the way on the left side of the cabin, I'm reading zero foot candles when the meter is facing directly up. And if I turn it on its side facing the light, I am still getting zero foot candles. All right, quick recap of what happened in the dark right there. So um, I set the meter in the furthest right position here on the tape and uh, facing upward directly at the light, it was at four foot candles. Uh, when I moved it over here in the same position, facing upward, it was at one foot candle. I turned it directly on its side and it remained at one foot candle. And even when I tried aiming the eye directly at the light, it remained at one foot candle. So 
I uh, moved it over to the left position here, and no matter what direction I faced the light, it was that zero foot candle. So um, even you know, though to your eye, you can see uh, some light coming over here, uh, the measurable amount of light was nothing. All right, so here we have the light right here. There's a little indentation on this side. Um, so that's where I'm gonna try and pull out from. And I have uh, one of these interior trim tools with a little 90 degree on it. So I'm just gonna get that right up in here, pop it down. It should wiggle right out here. And there's just a little clip that you press on both sides. Try to press on both sides. There we go. Just comes right out. All right, let's take a look at these. Here we have the two pieces side by side. We have the OEM on the right and the Beato LED on the left. And uh, appearance wise here, they look very much the same. Uh, they both have a little indent. Um, they both have this little, oh, there, ish, there we go. They're about the same size. Um, you know, they have the same style clip where it goes in. And look at this though, there's maybe a little bit of difference. I don't know if maybe the body on the Diado LED um, being used is maybe from a newer model Volkswagen, but they look nearly identical, almost exactly the same. Clip is obviously gonna fit in right there. Um, we've got the halogen housing versus the LED housing. And uh, one thing that I'm kind of curious about is to actually take this LED apart to look and see you know, how many uh, diodes are there and you know, do a little comparison is obviously the halogen piece. So when you're pulling this out, if this has been on for some time, just be careful, this might be a little bit hot. All right, here we go. We're gonna try and take this housing apart just so we can see what it looks like on the inside. Um, this is obviously unnecessary, but I'm really curious to see. There's just these four little tabs that look like they have to be pushed in. So let's see what we can do here. Oh yeah, here we go. All right. The sleeve is coming off. It looks like it's all connected in there though, so you gotta be very careful if you try and do that thing. All right, cool. Check this out. Was I right? Six by three, yep. Here, let's see if we can take this out of the sleeve. Ooh. For all the electronic nerds that are curious out there, um, I have no idea what I'm looking at, but here we go, let's flip this around. This is what the backside of the LED looks like. Hopefully it's okay for me to be touching this with my fingers. Here's the front side. Looks like an LED panel. All right, I'm gonna reassemble and get this in the car. All right, and here's the cover. There's just these little tabs. You can tell where I push them in. I'll try and bend those back out when I put them back in place. And then here is the housing. Um, perfectly OEM looking, plus you're never really gonna see it anyway. So. Um, it has the OEM style clip. Looks like it has been perfectly manufactured to fit right up in there. Here is the fine detail of the OEM halogen piece. All right, now here we are installing the LED. Um, just gonna clip right back in the same way. The clip only fits one way. Pop it right in there. And slide it back up in there. And boom. All right, we're in. The, uh, <laughs> the LED is not on. That's just the reflection from the lighting I have behind so we can actually see this area right here. All right. Here's the daylight look. First opening with the Diado LED. Hard to tell, but obviously a little bit more blue light over there. So let's shut the lights off and see what it looks like. You know, it's brighter. It's not as blasting as I expected. All right, let me try and find my meter here while I'm in the dark. Right now, in the first position, I am seeing 20 foot candles. So that is already a five time improvement over the four foot candles that we saw before. In the middle position, uh, looking straight up, we're getting four foot candles. 
turning it directly on its side 90 degrees, I'm getting six foot candles and aiming right at the light seven foot candles. So pretty significant improvements over what we were seeing before. And now over on the far left side, we're actually seeing one foot candle, uh, 90 degrees to the right facing toward the light is two foot candles and facing almost exactly at the light, it still remains at two foot candles. So that is a pretty drastic improvement. I don't know how it's coming across on the camera. Looks pretty good to me on the camera. You can actually see the entire trunk instead of just the right side uh, yellow glow. So I'm really happy with this and uh, let me get the lights back on. All right, so before this light turns off, and you can probably see that uh, the LED is still on. It might turn off while I have the hatch open here, but I just wanted to review real quick um, what I saw uh, in this light improvement. So over on the far right side, first you know, OEM halogen bulb was four foot candles. The Diado LED with the 16 LEDs uh, on that panel was a five time improvement. So it went from four foot candles to 20. In the middle, we had similar improvements. Four foot candles facing straight up um, to the side was six. So it was a four to six time improvement in the middle. And then over on the far left side, it was um, a one to two time improvement. So I'm really impressed that the middle area actually saw the most improvement, which is kind of what I was hoping for, just to get as much light as possible across the, the hatch area here. So uh, big thumbs up. The quality looked awesome. Uh, I, you know, it looked like an OEM piece to me. So uh, I'm really happy about this and it'll match the rest of the LED lighting that's already in my 2017 Mark 7 Golf R. I want to tell you that this product was better than I expected. And you know, I've known about their products for quite some time. I've always heard really great uh, feedback from other people. The thing that always put me off though was navigating the website, trying to find the product that worked for me. You know, it seemed like there's uh, a couple of options for similar things, so I wasn't quite sure what the deal was. So I emailed them support at diadoled.com, and they're very fast to respond. Uh, same day, within an hour at least, you know, I was getting emails on the weekends, responses back. So if um, if you're not quite sure what, you're, what you need for your application, email them. They will be more than willing to help you out. Um, and I was really happy to see the high quality of this product. Um, you know, fit and finish was great. So stay tuned. I've got some more of their products to install. I've got what the, uh, the sun visors, I've got the footwell kit, um, got some other stuff to install. So check out those other videos coming up soon. Don't forget, it's pronounced vag, not vag, all you people.